Hey guys, my name is Mariah. I'm a band five physiotherapist in the UK, and on my channel here, I post physio and lifestyle related content. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, notification bell, all so you never miss a video. Today's video, I am going to show you what NHS track looks like. I'm going to tell you how to set it up and how to set up email alerts and how to find a job via NHS track. So stay tuned if those are things that will benefit you. Firstly, you look at my screen. This is what NHS track looks like. It's really easy to set up an account. You go into Google, type into Google, type NHS track in there, and then it asks you to set up an account. To set up an account, it'll ask you information like where you live, your email address, your name, etc. Simple stuff that you'll be needing to fill in at any point anyway. Once you verify your email address, you will be able to get to this page that I'm looking at now. When you're new, obviously you're not going to any have any applications on here, but as you're aware, I applied for three different jobs. Well, not different, but three jobs at different trusts before I got my current job. Anyway, so you're going to see the dashboard at the top, which will show applications if you have any open or any pending applications. And you've got find a job and when looking for a job, obviously you're going to want to press the find a job section. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to search for a job. Actually, ooh, yeah, let's search for a job. And then in the meantime, I'm going to open up this bit here as well. So let's switch screen. So searching for a job, it will bring you to the Health Jobs UK account. So. I'm a physio, so I'm gonna scroll down to health professionals right here. And then you're gonna put the occupation that you're in. I don't see why you wouldn't. It just makes life a lot easier. Physiotherapy, you put the particular grade that you were searching for. Many of you who watch me are currently in uni or about to start uni. So you're probably going to be looking for a band five role. So you're gonna band five. Location where you would like to work. I, for the purpose of this, let's pick Manchester because I think they have some positions available. Press search. Nice and simple. So you're going to see all the different roles they have available currently. Mostly rotational, which is nice. <laughs> as I say, as I'm currently a rotational physio and I'm only a few weeks in. <laughs> but anyway, um, so you've got, this is where you find the jobs. So let's press this one at the top. When you get into the job, you can see the little job summary on your left hand side. On there, it will tell you the band, whether it's a permanent role or a fixed term role, because you could be covering someone's um, maternity leave, or whether it's like, um, yeah, temporary kind of thing, which is usually the maternity leave. You've got your hours in there, your pay in there, your band in there, etc. Like you've got the information you need, but most importantly, the main things you want to check is obviously check that the location is definitely what you want band wise sometimes I feel like I've read one or two of them and I'm a bit like maybe that's not for me but um, most importantly when applying you obviously want to look at the closing date which is right at the bottom so this application closes on the 13th of October on the well at midnight basically the same time you drop an assignment so as you scroll down here you've got the little brief job overview it tells you the rotations that they're doing decent range of rotations Nothing crazy, but the, the standard rotations you expect to see. And then you go down, get more information, qualifications expect from you, etc. And then, yeah, you must have a registration, which is like when I apply for HCPC, you need that. And then you can download more information. It's usually like the job description, the requirements, um, little information that it, it really depends. It's not the same for every place you'd go into that and if you want any further information you've got the emails at the bottom for people to email i think i've done another video before where i've said when applying for jobs it's always it's like similar to when you're looking for an elective placement it's always good to send an email and be like hey are you looking or hey you know because i did that when looking for jobs and just applying for them i emailed the people at the bottom of the page personally just being like Oh, okay, like, you know, what does this author, what's that? Like, asking upon question, like, building upon things that are on the job application just to get a better gauge of things, also to get my name in their mind. And <laughs> on top of it, to get my name in their mind, 
it was mostly to find out like whether they were taking on students at that point in time or not so yep let's see so anyway once you come out of that if you want to set up Javan go away I'm doing something what's it called if you want to set up by job emails what you do is you go into the track page and then you see find a job scroll down by emails it will tell you the frequency that you want to apply to so you could do weekly you could do daily I've gone for weekly because I feel like daily is a bit much unless you intend on like you're really really searching for a job and you need to know every day when the job pops up but it will literally just show you let's say there's 90 97 jobs that are currently out it will show you 97 jobs maybe 98 each day it'll be a lot you've got the profession that you're in um so you pick the role that you're in let me come out of here for me that'll be physiotherapy so you scroll down physio lovely and you can pick the band in there as well. I didn't show you that. Sorry. But in locations, I'm from London. So I've picked places that are not too far from London and not an unrealistic commute, as you can see. But you can pick whatever suits you best. Pick options that can be reached via both public transport and via car if you're driving. It's just because like, you never know what's going to happen. And you don't want to be like, I can't go into work because I live too far. Um, You know? and type of employer like where you'd like to apply to boom set it up like that nice and easy and then you get regular weekly emails i got one yesterday 97 jobs on there and it just tells me everything keeps me up to date so when i do decide actually i want to climb bands or let's say i decided i want to move to a different trust i have all of that on a regular basis i'm seeing what's out there i'm seeing those next new opportunities so yeah but if this video was helpful for you, let me just stop recording my screen here. But if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in another one. Bye guys! <laughs>